Hello, and welcome to this video. Right off the bat, I'm just going to say this. This one's going to be different from my other videos. If you've been on my channel for, you know, since the beginning, which is a month and a couple weeks ago ago, pr pretend I know what I, pretend you understand what I just said. I don't have a script or anything, so I'm going to be fumbling over my words a lot. And that might sound ridiculous, but... I mean, I kind of, it's not like I had someone to teach me this, but this right here is an update video, the first one for my channel, because most time I kind of just randomly post whatever I'm doing in that current day, week, whatever, but I, I'm pretty sure a nice little update video to kind of change the pace of, you know, me running around on Call of Duty, drifting on asphalt or just outsmarting the AI on the multitude of games I play. So this is the first update video. And I want to start off by thanking every single person that actually decided to subscribe to my channel. And obviously if I'm like loud in your ear or trying to sound loud in the audio is a little messy, my bad, I don't exactly have $100 equipment just laying around. So I'm kind of just doing the best with what I got. But I really do mean it when I say a thank you to every single one of you. Um, my real idea or the real reason I kind of wanted to do this whole YouTube thing, other than the whole, you know, eventually you get paid thing, other than that, my most sincere reason is actually to build my own little pocket of positivity. Because I'm a type of person that I have ridiculous luck. If you know me personally, you know that. My luck is stupid. Almost really doesn't make much sense how it's so unfair, but such is life. But I really just wanted to have a little area where I have people cheering me on a bit. I mean, not saying that the people that are my friends and you know personally know me aren't doing good enough. They're doing very well. That's what made me do this in the first place. But I have a lot of... A lot of just normal negativity in my life. And I don't know how to explain it in a way that everyone else can understand, but I have some ridiculous things that happen. They're not life-changing events. They're not, you know, anything extremely drastic. But they bother me, like, a lot. And... I always have this mentality that it's always, always going to be something. Like every day I wake up, I, in the back of my mind, I think it's gonna happen today. It's gonna make me a little bit upset. Or what's gonna happen today? That's gonna make me hate everything. It's usually always something, but every once in a while, I get a day or two where nothing bad actually happens. But that isn't very often. So. In order to build my own little community, I gotta stay in touch with all of you. Every comment that comes on, I see it. Every thumbs up that comes on, I also see it. Every subscription that comes on, I get a little notification that this person, your name, your channel, all that, this person has subscribed to you. Then I can click it and check on your channel. I mean, it doesn't really go into too much detail. But I also check my analytics very often. I check all those little things all the time because I kind of have a lot of time that I should probably spend more homework, honestly, but my point still stands. I notice all the time when little things change on my channel. I notice when I get a new sub, when I get a new like, I notice when I get a new view. I mean, I can even go in and see the percentage of how many people get to actually see my video and one of the things that I'm not gonna lie and say it doesn't bother because it bothers me quite a big deal because I'm a very small channel I don't have a lot of you know fans go like millions of people coming and going I do have I mean one video has like 3.5k views and it's like my, my king or my just my crown video and again, I thank every single one of you for watching that. Even if you probably never will see this video in particular. 
but it really does actually bother me whenever I see that, you know, I've lost a subscriber this week, I lost one last week or whatever. I also have the timeline of in which I see if I gain or lost any. And I know that's the business. If you gain some, you lose some. But for me, it's the principle. You know, the idea of you're going to subscribe, I mean, kind of means that, I mean, a lot of mine were actually acquired subscriptions, which means I practically know... Okay, not most, but I know a few people that are for sure subscribed to me. And it's a choice at the end of the day. So I'm never going to be like, Oh, you can't subscribe to my channel. I'm never going to say that. It's your choice, and while it does affect me in a bit of a negative way, I'm not going to get... I'm not going to get upset and be like, you have to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not that kind of guy. I personally believe that if you want to unsubscribe, I, I can't make you not do it. That's your choice. But when I see that there's a streak of new subscribers, it really motivates me to get more things up, you know, to get better at this. Because, again, I don't have anybody teaching me this. You know, this actually might be a rant video. I don't know, you'll figure it out anyway. Uh, there were a, are a couple of games that, you know, I kind of just did one or two videos for, and I kind of just ditched them, or forgotten them. Um, I actually have very good memory. Like, it's not necessarily that I've forgotten them, it's just that I haven't thought about what I could do in those specific games that would be entertaining to anybody. But I still do look out and see what I can find. Like, I'm going to start bringing back more Asphalt 8. Um, maybe a little bit less Call of Duty, because I need to fix some settings on there. The lag and the frame rate is incredibly, like, horrendous these days. Might be my crappy connection, but we're not going to talk about that. Either way, I need to figure out a few things, uh, how to edit a little bit better. I got a ton of apps, but... Since I usually make really short videos, I don't end up using them all that often. And the chances are this video is going to have very, like, a uh, minimal amount of likes. Or a minimal amount of views, because... Reasons. But I get it if I'm not the most entertaining person. Like, I didn't have anyone to teach me to be a YouTuber. Everything that I've learned so far is an acquired skill. I had to kind of teach myself or... Honestly, those crappy, like, how to be a YouTuber videos do not help that much. I got, like, two facts from those videos, and I think only one of them did me any good. In the long run, at least. But I really do hope that I can entertain more and more people. That I can, again, build that little community where I can be gone for, like, a week, and I'll have people, like... You know, not, like, people asking me, what's up? Hey, where you going? Like, what happened? Not really to... Hmm. I don't know how to explain this. Because, again, I don't have a script. I just kind of tell how it is. And I feel like this is really easy, but really hard at the same time. And I can never understand why. This is really easy. I can easily edit and put up a random video from one of the like 16 games I play. I mean, there are some games that are like, not, I don't really think they're video worthy. So I don't really bother that much. However, I am looking forward to bringing back certain games. Like, for those people that thought the game Sky, the Children of the Light, the only reason I haven't done more videos like that one, of like newer games, is because that game would never for the life of me, or anything else in this universe. I'm getting off topic. Um, the game won't load properly on my phone. Like, the video that I put out that one time, it's probably going to be the only one I have up for like, quite a while now, because no major updates has come out for the game yet. And for those people that actually wanted to see more of that game, I'm sorry. It's not like I'm intentionally forgetting about that or anything. I said I literally cannot play the game anymore. 
the moment I tap into the app, it crashes and I can't play. I was aware that that could have been a problem. I just kind of didn't really want it to be, but it was. And I actually happened to really enjoy playing that game, so I guess it's kind of why it stopped working. That tends to be a trend in my life. Find something cool you like? Cool, it's not going to work anymore. And I'd be lying if I say that didn't bother me to an absurd degree. But I really do hope I can get better at this YouTuber thing. I can build that little community. Have just somewhere I can hop on and just put up something and get positive reception. And I'm going to be real honest with you. If you're a negative person, I do not want you on my channel <laughs> at all. For the few reasons that if you say something that like annoys me or bothers me in the comment section, I'm going to delete your comment. Like I can be nice, but I have limits. And if you're going to insult me on my own channel, when you don't even have one, that's some audacity. And if you're if you're mad because I'm saying that, well, that you're only proving me right. But no negative comments. If you're gonna be rude, go be rude somewhere else. Uh, I, I I don't think I'm gonna miss your view that much. Because if I'm being completely honest, I didn't make the channel for haters, and also I've never seen a hater that's been doing better than me. Uh, if you want to diss me, be doing better than me. However, all that aside. I don't, I don't like negativity, so if that's what you're going to do, don't bother. It's not worth your time, I can almost promise you that. On the other hand, I am I am considering a lot of you know major adjustments for my channel for originality, like an original name, you know. So it's easier to find my channel and, you know, not see like six other options. But that's all going to take time, and it's, it's coming. But I need to make a couple choices here and there, get some work done. And in time, I should have my own real little name that you can actually look up to find me. I think about using my, like, Call of Duty Gamer tag. But one way or another, thank you so much for watching, and I gotta go.